There's only three ways to be a successful YouTube producer in 2019. Now, I'm not gonna do any crazy intro. I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna make this a long video. I'm not gonna be like, hey, come on guys, let's do this. There's only three ways to be successful. Now, I started selling beats in 2015. When I started back then, everyone said, the market's saturated, it'll never work, just give up now. It's 2019, there's way more producers online now than there were back then. Now, in five years from now, people are gonna say, ah, oh, the market's so saturated, I wish I started in 2019, blah, blah. It's all bullshit, none of it matters at all. Just join the carousel, just join the carousel. Start today. The only other thing that truly matters in this game, if you wanna be a YouTube producer, and I'm not even the biggest producer in the world, I have like 22,000 subscribers, which is pretty good. It's not like insane, like 100,000, but it's not like six. I've been doing this for a couple years, if you start today, the only thing that matters is consistently drop beats. That's it. Consistently drop beats. Find a schedule that works for you. Maybe one a day for a whole week. Maybe don't drop more than one a day though. Drop one every single day of the week or drop one Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The, the, the consistency is what matters. Don't focus on hi-hats and being like, yeah, I really like this beat, but it didn't really sit well with me. I don't know, who cares? Put it out there. Consistently drop beats, okay? The other thing is get your branding on point, right? So I use a lot of plants in my shit. Plants and guitars, that's some rare, 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 rare vibes, plants and guitars. Just choose something that works for you and just do that consistently. So when people see it, they say to themselves, wow, this is like, Kind of like that other beat I saw, and then they'll realize that both those beats are you. Just consistently brand yourself, okay? Another thing is try to do one little thing that makes your beats different than everybody else's. So when I first started dropping beats in 2015, nobody was doing Frank Ocean type beats, and more specifically, it was all the same trap. It all sounded exactly the same to me. It literally sounded exactly the same. Migos, Drake type beat, like maybe Travis Scott, I don't even, it didn't really matter. I was like, I'm just gonna do live guitar. And boom, now most of my beats, I'd say about 80 to 90% of them have live guitar. And that was a big thing for me, selling beats online in 2015. Because it was new, nobody was doing that, and now it works this day. I still do guitars and boom. But consistently drop beats, okay? There's no SEO tag that's gonna bring you to the top. There's no, I mean, working with great artists is always the number one priority too. It's like, make great music and put it out there. But there's no secret formula. It's 2019, there's a ton of YouTube producers, yes, but it's not oversaturated, it's not impossible for you to do this. Just start consistently drop beats. And the first couple of beats you drop are gonna get like eight views. Then after a couple months, you're probably gonna get maybe 30 views, and then 100 views, and then 200 views, and then it's gonna grow and grow and grow, and five years from now you're gonna say, thank God I started in 2019 and not today. Just start now, that's, that's, that's it. Okay, peace.